Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 47, and this is war number 5. And we're going up against an alliance called Wrath of the Greeks. Okay. Let's see, who do they ban? Ghost. Hey, they ban my scorpion. Boo. And uh, Absorbing Man. Okay. Let's see uh, what they got planned for me. Uh, let's see. Oh, boy. Yuck. All right. So Mojo does not benefit from this node, but that infamous Iron Man does. So... Hulkling is going to come in, and we'll see who I bring in for Mojo, but I'm going to most likely bring in uh, someone that does not gain any buffs. So Ant-Man, perhaps, or um, Spider-Man 2099. We'll see. Oh, okay. Hmm. Lots of armor ups on him. So we definitely want... We definitely want a bleed immune. I mean, I can... Hmm. I guess Claire and just stay in Curse of Blood. Yeah, that's probably the uh the way to go. And then we've got Sauron here, huh? He doesn't benefit, but he's annoying anyway. All right. So This is going to be interesting. I said Hulkling. Or that Mojo. If it wasn't for the Mojo, I'd bring in Hulkling. I'd bring in uh, Claire. And I would bring Lady Deathstrike for that Sauron. Now, I could bring in... Uh, OG Iron Man as well, but he can't take that mojo. I'll have to think about this one. Um, cause that mojo is a problem. The infamous Iron Man, I might be able to deal with with whoever I bring in for Mojo. It might be a pain though, but I got to think about that one. Um, Cause if I bring in Spider-Man 2099, he's not going to be able to do that fight. Hmm. Maybe the Overseer. Although it's when they expire, not only because he can't be nullified. Hmm. I'm going to have to think about this one. This one is a little tricky because of that mojo. Um, I could perhaps try Claire. against that infamous Iron Man. That could be a way to go. We'll see, but yeah. All right, so Claire, Lady Deathstrike, and someone to deal with these two. If Claire, if I decide to do Claire with infamous Iron Man, then I'm going to bring in uh, Spider-Man 2099. 
Yeah. And Lady Deathstrike should be able to handle that Sauron and maybe someone else. Let's see. Incinerate poison. Nope. All right. Right now, I'm thinking Spider Man 2099, Claire, and Lady Deathstrike. And we're just going to have to hope that Claire can handle infamous Iron Man on that node uh, by nullifying his armor. As long as she can nullify the armor, we should be fine. Let me see. Is there anything crazy about this node? Power burn. Yeah, okay. Oh, there we go. Can't use Claire. Spaced armor. They can't be nullified. Ugh. This is going to be annoying. Um. I'm trying to think. Maybe I'll bring in Nick Fury. And just uh, brute force it. Instead of Spider-Man 2099, just bring in uh, Nick Fury. Ugh. Don't really want to do that, though. All right, let me think about it, uh, and we'll see who I decide. All right, so we'll be right back. Okay, so I finally decided what I was going to do. Horvus, Claire, Lady Deathstrike. So these days, it's Hercules with his immortality, which I always found quite funny because before Hercules, Corvus and his immortality seemed to be an issue. But then they came out with a character that had even better immortality. Don't know how that works. But anyway, my idea is to do my best not to do any dexing because that's going to give me a precision buff and when i hit them that precision buff will expire and that's when mojo likes to degen you when your buffs expire so i'm trying here to basically parry just go in and you saw the buffs that I, I went in with, right? Because I need to end this fight. All right, so here we go. Here we go. All right, that was pretty good. But here we go. I got I, I got to do it. I got to do it. Bam, see, look at that. Now, we don't have the D-Gen yet, but it's coming. Okay, I dexed again. There it is. Now look at the D-Gen because I was dexing. So I'm like, all right, you know what? Let's just get this guy down. See if we can get him down fast, fast, fast. Boom, 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 done. So we only took a little degen damage and we were able to get him down. Now, the nice thing about Corvus is even if that degen had gone and taken me all the way down, I would not die until he hit into my block a whole bunch. So, we got that done, and I did put on that uh, advanced power boost because I needed it. Now, this fight is a fight that is generally a long fight. Not that long, but long enough that if I'm not careful, I'll use up Corvus's charges. Don't want to do that, which is why you see me buffing up like I just did. All right, so here we go. I'm already at, you know, my power start one. All right. Yeah, he's just acting up. But see, I know in the end, he's going to heal. So I want to get him as close as possible. All right, so here we go. Oh, he dexed me. Can you believe it? The nerve. Boom. Almost back to a special two. Let's do it again. Boom, boom. Mm, love it. Now, we got to basically wait this out while he heals. 
if I timed it just right, I might have been able to get rid of him before he did that. But look at this. And I got 11 charges left. We doing well. And done. Corvus is still a beast, okay? He can nuke him down with the best of them. Now, that was Corvus. I have the Ouchie Masteries on. And I've, you know, I didn't really buff up and I didn't have any missions completed at that time but still was able to put in that work, right? And while you might be tempted to fight this guy with Corvus, don't do it. The armor breaks don't work, don't matter, and he will bleed out very quickly, all right? But Claire, on the other hand, can nullify those armor ups, and I'm gonna do something really dangerous, all right? So, while he has an armor up, that's when you have a chance to get bleed, right? Put on you. But I'm in bleed, um, her, her uh, curse of blood. Oh, see, now this I have to watch for. If I got hit with that, it's a wrap, okay? So now I'm like, okay, before he gets another armor up, maybe I'll switch and I can get him down a little bit faster, okay? So I should have switched earlier, but I didn't. Now he has a timer and he's about to get another armor up. And now I'm like, okay, okay, there's the armor up. All right, boom, nullified, let's go. All right, here we go. But look, timer, he's getting that armor up back. I need to, I need to, oh, now. And there's only a chance, right? What do you think the chances are that I'm gonna get a bleed if I hit him with an armor up? 100%, don't listen to Kabam. It's 100%, look at, bam, one hit, already bleeds. But I did it quick, okay? Don't listen, you are gonna get some bleeds on you. All right? But we were able to cycle it through really quick and <laughs> I just love that uh, animation. And if the fight went a little bit longer, I could um, heal back up, but he just wanted to turtle up in the corner. So I'm just like, whatever, take you out. So that fight, pretty straightforward, not too, you know, difficult. I did risky um, because something could have happened and I would have bled right on out. But we got him, we got him. Now, this fight, is also another straightforward fight. You guys have watched me fight um, Sauron. If you watched the last video, you've seen what happens. She has an ability to heal up from special one and two attacks, okay? So it's pretty safe. All you gotta do, you know, and I, and I try not to rely too much on that, but if I get hit a little bit, I'm just gonna heal up, okay? So it's a, a pretty easy fight, all right? So here we go. He has a regen, but I also have a heal block. There you go. Now he can't get any, um, uh, he can't go unblockable. So I'm like, all right, look at that. See, unblockable, but no. Now he's suddenly passive. Oh, now he don't wanna do nothing. I'm like, man, come on. Let me just go ahead and get you. Oh yeah, yeah, we got this, you know. Good. Look out. Emotional damage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, don't let him go to his special two because his special two hurts. Hurts a lot. Go back and look. I got hit. I healed up. I was at a full health bar, but his last hit took me out. Can't heal from that. I got to admit to you guys, I laughed. The reason I laughed is because we already, at this point, we had a good lead, you know? And so I was just like, wow, I don't believe that just happened. 
All right, so now watch how you should do this fight. All right, so here we go. Yep, oh, now he want to fire this special one off nicely. And that's all you got to do. Just bait out his special one. That other one, he was just like, nah, I'm not going to fire the special one. I'm going to fire that special two off. Just look at that. Oh, yeah. Easy. I mean, I laughed. I laughed so hard when that happened. I was like, okay, okay. That's what I get for, you know, getting cocky and just pushing him to a special two. Yeah, no. No special two when you can't move and you don't know how to evade it. I hate Root. I hate Root with a passion, y'all. I hate Root. All right? Anyway. So that was, I, I laughed, I laughed, that was funny. Now, this fight here, I used to take a path in AQ a um, long time ago that had Killmonger on it. And he had, when they changed it, that path had the crazy power gain. He was annoying. But dealing with him with Corvus worked out really nice because I could parry armor break. One thing that I often did that I try to remember not to do is you don't want to get too happy. You know, you parry and then you're hitting him and everything and then you do your special and his armor comes back up and all that damage comes right back on you. And you're just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then. He hits you one good time and you're done. Okay? So you got to be careful. Now, I, you know, boosted up real good because I'm worried about this fight. Now, you saw the, uh, you know, boosts that are on him. And I have that guidance boost. And because Corvus is, he's not a hero, but he is metal, that means I can parry him. And instead of a debuff, which would give him power, it's a passive stun. All right, see? So armor break, look at that. So we good, all right? So I'm like, all right. All right, here we go, yep. Now let's let's get him, oh man, okay, yeah. But you can do that. Corvus does have a power drain. Look at my health. I'm like, what? I did it again. But we're not going down easy. Oh, 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 okay. And then, of course, I get a notification because I forgot to do that. I can't parry too much because I'm going to lose my um, charges. But look at that. Oh, we got him. That was a nasty crit at the end. That fight, although it went quickly, was a close one. My health disappeared. And I was like, oh, but I didn't panic. And I was like, okay, no more parry because now that I don't have any health, Every parry was going to take away my charges, and the next thing you know, that was going to be it. All right, so we'll be back in a minute, and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and as you can see, we won this war. I was pretty sure we were going to win this one because we had a really good lead, even when I uh, got taken out by that Sauron. But Let's see, let's see. Yeah. So at, for a little bit, see, look at that, that's Laser John. I still gotta figure this out. One of these days, I'm gonna figure it out. Anyway, um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my war videos. Anytime I see him, there's another character, another champion that has Laser John 26. It looks like the same name, but it's not him. Because he's in our alliance. The other one has no alliance. I don't know. Anyway. Um, we were pretty sure we had the win. And so I wasn't too terribly worried that I got taken out by that Sauron. Um, but I'm happy that, that we won and I didn't have to worry about letting the team down. So that's why I was laughing so hard. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Take care. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and you all have a blessed day.